Oh, I'm really glad we did this. Yeah, me too. Oh, thank you. I've never been on a blind date before. Yeah, me neither. Well, I just have one more thing I need to do. What's that? Oh, I just have some questions. Standard stuff, nothing crazy. Just don't want to waste each other's time in the future, you know? Okay. So question number one, are you a narcissist? What? A narcissist. Can you tell me one reason you're not a narcissist? Um, I don't know. Okay. Doesn't know whether he What are you writing? Is. Nothing. Next question. Are you healing from your childhood traumas? Or are you planning on projecting your unprocessed pain onto me through your inability to take any accountability for anything that you do wrong? I'm not sure I understood that. Your traumas. Are you healing or are you planning on love bombing me and then running away when I actually get close because of your deep-seated fear of abandonment? I don't know what you just said. Hmm. Okay. Doesn't know that either. You're writing again? Moving on. How are you going to resolve our differences in sexual needs? Sexual needs? Yeah, couples fight about sex all the time. I mean, what are you going to do to prevent that? Well, uh, what were you going to do? Uh, talk about it beforehand, make a plan, create a safe environment where someone can share if they feel neglected, compromise, establish healthy boundaries. Yep, that's exactly what I was going to say. Okay, I'm going to say a word. I want you to stop me when you can give me even a rough definition or example of that word, okay? I don't think I'm going to like this game. First word, empathy. <laughs> Nothing? Okay, how about vulnerability? Skip. Intimacy. Are these English words? I'm, I don't know Spanish. I'm gonna pass. Can I pass? Okay, which of my needs will eventually be a burden for you? A burden? Yeah, will it be my need to feel seen and heard, my need for emotional connection or validation, for you to do at least the bare minimum of mutual chores when you're home? I mean, which one will you eventually tell me is crazy and delusional for me to have? Well, I personally just think it's kind of unhealthy to have needs or to rely on your partner too much, you know? Yeah, so you must not need sex then, right? What? Sex, you don't need that in your relationships, right? Well, I mean, maybe that one? Yeah. So here's what I think the problem is. You're completely unprepared for anything that any relationship needs to survive and thrive. What's that? Well, you think feelings are stupid and irrational. The problem with that is it leaves you completely uninterested and ill-equipped to deal with any of mine. I mean, you say you aren't sensitive like me, but yet I can't even tell you a feeling or have a complaint without you perceiving it as an attack. I'm not allowed to hold you accountable or give you any constructive criticism without you immediately getting defensive or starting a fight or shutting down completely or leaving the room or outright dismissing me and calling me crazy. Well, maybe. Can't you see? You're just as sensitive as I am. The difference is I'm learning how to regulate and repair and reconnect and have a real relationship. Are you learning anything about that? Can I get the check? Smart.